I'm James Fricker, I'm the Managing Director of Sensat. Uh, I'm joined here by Harry Atkinson, who's the Head of Product and Co-Founder. Sensat is a 19-person uh, strong AI tech startup in London, um, and like most good startups, we started in a bedroom. We now work with a large part of the Tier 1 construction companies in the UK, servicing full end-to-end -end spectrums on their project pipelines. Sensat Surveying is essentially our data capture arm, and we use UAVs to capture aerial data and using photogrammetry, we can then stitch that together. Last year, we actually managed to capture 9,000 kilometers of data, which is from here to Hong Kong. Uh, and I didn't just make that up, that's a genuine fact. So from that, we take the data and we plug it into our software called MAP. So we've taken our key learnings from the construction industry and applied it to the world that we live in today. Over to Harry. We looked at the smart cities industry itself and we saw a lot of the players like Cisco, Microsoft saying it's going to cost you 20 million pounds to get a sort of a proof of concept off the ground. It's going to take you three years to get any data out of it. And we thought primarily this, this was just wrong. There must be a more cost effective way to get a proof of concept off the ground. So we set ourselves a fairly ambitious challenge of uh, creating a smart city in a week. So we need a super high resolution 3D model. Um, of the city. Then you need to infuse real-time sensor data into these uh, models. And then finally, we need to analyze and augment that information. So this is an example of one of our models. So this is York in England. Uh, so this has 500 million data points in it. Just bear in mind, this took about 10 hours to capture, another few days to process, and then we are able to use that data as the basis for our smart cities. So we're using uh, the physical world as the basis for training our artificial intelligences. It accelerates the learning uh, for, the, for the AI agents and it accelerates the training process. A smart city should be creating a bespoke environment for each of its citizens. What we're doing is probably the first step towards that. What we're allowing um, cities to do is create a very quick proof of concept uh, to allow them to see the benefits of a smart city uh, for then future investment into those uh, cities.